and we are live hey everybody all you cute operatives out there as uh as well as anybody else joining me on the couch today i threw all my pillows away though so you're gonna have to be a little uncomfortable if you're going to sit with me today <laughs> uh yeah yeah i shouldn't have thrown all my pillows away but i did they're all on the other couch the wide couch uh, as opposed to short couch <laughs> uh but uh yeah welcome back to coop couch gaming uh i'm sorry my internet completely just went kaput yesterday a little frustrated at that but uh i figured hey i actually got back a little bit earlier today i wanted to go ahead and get at least a little bit more reseteer in uh to kind of make up the difference right i get a couple more episodes in today so we're gonna do that <laughs> we're gonna do that right now uh, i'll go ahead and switch us on over um so yep wrong one <laughs> here we go now we're good uh i also adjusted the audio a little bit um so you can see here i went and changed i went and changed the audio in the game a little bit i upped the music because the music is great i decreased the sound in the voice though uh because i wanted to uh not have to hear all the characters going <laughs> every time that i swung a sword and just completely just be annoying when I'm trying to talk. Uh, that being said, um, last time we actually did get some pretty decent... Uh, no, no, I already put it out. We got the parade armor. That's going to be a big seller. But we, what we want to do first, um, go to town. Okay, there is an event going on. Let's see what's going on here. Hey, hello! Oh, you're sad. Working hard, I hope. Are you out for a walk, sir? Oh, what I am. I make a habit of getting out of the house on days like this. Walking in the sun like this is good for a soul. Oh, yes. Clear days do feel nice. You stay indoors during periods of inclement weather, then. Oh, no. Sun's good for the soul, but rain hardens the body. Makes me be Superman, but not. Besides, it's nice to see the city looking different on a rainy day. Uh, so then you just go for a walk every day then? Well, I guess you could put it that way, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if you'll find that funny as well. I don't know, the dude just walks it. There's nothing funny about that. There was nothing funny about that <laughs> string of dialogue. There was back and forth about how the dude just walks every day. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see. We have three days. Let's see what's cheap. These are still price up. Pretty much everything's price up at the moment. Um, we were going to check out some fusion stuff, though, because we got some pretty good items last time. I have... Ah, uh, did we sell it? We we should have one of those. I think I have it on the counter. The pot stand. I think we have it on the counter though. Thankful statue. I have one. For your town slime liver. Okay, we could. Oh, we can make some stuff. Special ink well. Let's do it. Yeah, fusing that. Romantics cape. A cape with a daring, pleasing vine-like pattern. Just looking at it inspires longing in the heart. Uh, goodness, 10k. Yes, please. Water crystal plus leather boots equals water walking boots. Probably. Mermaid shoes. Plus two. Hey. Uh, putting the mermaids... <laughs> putting the mermaids have legs question aside. These shoes provide excellent water protection. I'd love to see it. Um, looks like that's the only thing that we have. Stuff we can do with. Um, I mean, we could... We do have honey love we need to buy love a standard glove maybe would it be a sturdy club i mean we can buy one of these too it, it kind of hurt the price on that's normalized so okay here we go oh we need three honey i was misreading it okay so three honey so we don't have enough honey then. um let's see well, that's all we're gonna be able to do then uh, let's go, let's go adventuring, adventuring, as it were. Now let's see what we get. Um, we'll take Louie. Oh, actually, 
I should have some stuff I can give to Lily. Let's go back. So what he takes? Okay, so he takes armbands, chest pieces. Okay. So what we can do? Uh, load him up. Uh, I, I have pretty much all my armor on the. I already have all my armor in the uh, shop though. That's okay. Louis, Louis's my man. Last time we just dominated the Jade Way, so we're just going to hit up the new location here. Uh, we tried this a couple of times now and messed it up every time, but hoping, hoping to do okay this time. We'll see. Uh, no, you don't. Oh, I hate these. Go away. These little cobalt guys. Don't like them either, but I like. Oh, garbage! Darn fish trap. Oh, you hate the fish trap. You hate to see it. Such a goofy trap. I don't understand half of the ideas of this game, but I'm totally down with whatever this game throws at me at this point. I right, get myself some walnut bread plus two. It's not as good as the egg toast plus four, but you know, you just kind of have to gotta do these. Ooh, I'll take this gunpowder. Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> right. some side attacks. In. There we go. Old muffler, garbage. Thought I'm supposed to be getting some rare items here, people. I need to make 80k before the uh, end of the week. Not even the end of the week. I need to make 80k by well, 40k. We already have 44k, but we need four. Stop! Stop! Jeez! These people are just beating me down here. Man, that combo potential between Mr. Bat Eye and Rock Tosser over here. My goodness, man. Like, give me a break. Like, just beat me into the ground over here with the combo situation. Alright. <laughs> man. Jeez. Okay, there we go. That's the one good thing about Louie. Uh, if, if he's only facing one direction, uh, we're pretty solid because, like, we just stand in place. Uh, it's very, uh, I, don't, I know a lot of people actually did not like, um, The Adventures of Link, the second Zelda game on the NES, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of people actually did not like that one very much, but that's actually, in terms of, like, old school Zelda, like, I actually like that one more than the very first game, if, if I'm being totally honest. Um, I actually prefer The Adventures of Link over the original Legend of Zelda. Like, there was some- there's something really cool about the second game. Like, just- it, it's like, yes, you did have sort of character building, if you will, in terms of the first game, but it was pretty much like, oh, you get more hearts, you find more items. But like, with the second game, it was more almost like RPG-esque, um, and it's a- it's a- style of game that they never revisited um they 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 like never revisited like the rpg style um of uh legend of zelda like it's pretty much always just been actiony style moving forward you know what i mean and i don't know man like i really like the second game like like i said i almost prefer it over just the original um, you know, that's saying something. <laughs> uh, but... I don't know. I, I don't know. It, it, it's weird. Um... It's like... I don't know. It, it would be weird, I guess, now, like, thinking back. Like, if they did that style, though, with, um... Like, say, Wind Waker, or even, like, Twilight Princess. I don't think... For those types of games, I don't think it would have played out as well. Um, I feel like the only way that the Zelda 2 format really works is when you don't have a huge story to tell, you know what I mean? Um, if you tried to apply, like, that style of Zelda to, like, like Twilight Princess, um, Wind Waker, I mean, especially Twilight Princess, though, because, like, that one is so heavily invested in, like, the story building, like, the actual setting of the game. Um, it just, it, I think it would just be, it would take, it would take you out of the game in, in such a way that it would make you think about it like, oh, it's just a video game. It's not like this epic story. Stop punching me. 
you know what I mean? It's kind of like if you were to take like a serious book or something and then it suddenly decided to like start getting like fourth wall breaky, you know what I mean? Like if they if they took Game of Thrones, right, and just added in like components to the book that ooh, that was that could have been that could have been real bad. Uh, let's go ahead and eat some stuff so we don't accidentally blow ourselves up here. Uh, where was the bread at? Yeah, we'll have bread here. Okay. Um, I think chocolate bar that gives us special gauge, right? Yeah, perfect. Um, stop, stop punching me. Go away, go away. But yeah, I, I feel like if they did. Like, like I said, you know, if they took Game of Thrones and added in, like, a fourth wall breaky sequence to it, I feel like it would just not, it would just make an otherwise really good media turn into, like, one that's just really not that good. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I feel like, considering how, especially, like, the more recent Zeldas have, well, I say that, and the Breath of the Wild, like, was low story. Um, but in terms of, like, the recent relatively recent uh 3d zeldas right uh, i'm talking like wind waker twilight princess things like that um i feel like it would take so much away from the player at that point because the player would the player would be reminded far too frequent that it's just like a video game instead of just, just like epic story you know i guess that's kind of what i'm trying to get at is like sometimes less game mechanics are good or at least calling out said game mechanics. You know what I mean? Uh, it, because it's just like, man, it is a little annoying sometimes when, you know, you're con. It, 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 I don't know. It, if you're going into a video game with the knowledge of like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna have a fun time playing this video game, I'm not looking to try to get like this epic story like built out of it. You know what I mean? Um, I I feel like you know if you're going in with it with that mindset, it's like sure, that that's fine. But then, like, for an epic story to take place, I feel like less movement speed's increased. Excuse me. Stop. <laughs> no way. It's like you play this, and, like, everything's, like, over the top. Like, obviously, very game mechanic-y. Um, but if they, if they were to apply some of the stuff that this game applies to, say, Twilight Princess, right? It would be such a confusing mix of... It would just be confusing. Like, it would just be confusing, and it would make the story not as convincing, I guess, in a way. You know, it, it... Whatever it is, it has to treat itself seriously enough for it to both be fun to play and understand, like, the, the base mechanics of how to play it, right? So, you know, it's like, you need to know, oh, I need to turn between Wolf Link and Link Link in order to make sure that I can do all of the puzzles, you know? Like, I need to be able to beat every puzzle, and sometimes I have to switch between the two. It's like, yeah, you have to explain that, but once you do explain it, like, don't, like, bash the player, like, don't keep bashing the player with that, you know? It's like, don't explain it over and over. And I feel like that's part of the reason why, like, Skyward Sword did not... I mean, it still performed well number-wise, right? But a lot of people agree Skyward Sword was not... It was not, like, the Zelda experience they wanted at the time. Um, in a lot of ways. I can't hear you. Um, so I, I feel like, yeah, with Skyward Sword... Like, Skyward Sword's a good example, and I feel like part of the reason that it did the way that it did is because they... Uh, apples, that's health, yeah. I uh, would like some more special gauge, but probably not gonna get it. Like that. But yeah, I, I feel like the reason that that one did poorly is because that game with B, B constantly would remind you of just basic game mechanics and it would basically it would so you know part of the fun of a zelda game right it's like yes the combat is great like i'm fine with the combat but a lot of it is puzzle solving like puzzle solving is like the zelda formula like if you did not have puzzles in a zelda game it's not a zelda game you know what i mean 
Some of those puzzles might involve combat. Most of them don't, actually. You know what I mean? And if you were to take that out of the mix, then it would just be bad. And, like, I feel like the problem with Skyward Sword is that while, yes, it did have... It did have puzzles. It, it, it did. Um, it just, those puzzles were such, like... What's a good word? Oh, throw away. Throw away. That's such a good term. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Reseteer, for giving me a way to explain this. It's such a throwaway, like, most of the puzzles were so throwaway puzzles because Fee would remind you of certain mechanics, items to use, but it would be timed such that, like, oh, you basically just gave me the solution to the puzzle. And it kind of defeats the point of playing zelda at that point because that's like that's the fun of it it's like spending you know five to ten minutes trying to work out a puzzle you know um i know like even like breath of the wild like you know a lot of the other zeldas at that point like we've played them so many times that like it's pretty enemy power doubled <sighs> that's bad um all right so this floor we're just gonna like want to book it because i don't want to Ooh. Yeah, I don't want to mess around with double power enemies. That's especially these little fire guys. These guys are rough. Get that here. Ooh, take that though. Um, yeah, I feel like with um Skyward Sword, yeah, that was their problem. Like they had the puzzles and the infrastructure for their game, but then deconstructed it such that it just completely defeated the point of trying to actually solve the puzzle. Like, you could pretty much just talk to Fee. You would say, like, oh, something about the blah, 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 you know? And it's just like, oh, that's a stop! <laughs> oh, I hate those little traps, man. Oh, I hate those. Every time. Uh, but yeah, it's just like, it was such, I don't know. And that's the one, that's the one Zelda game that me and my grandfather have not actually played like from start to finish like we did not finish that like we actually did not finish skyward sword that's the few the one game that we really have not finished yeah um you know what i mean and geez i forgot about this yeah. no you don't ah oh, garbage ow could you not oh i hate this oh i absolutely hate this one get out of, get out of the way rest tier reset reset and tier Get out of here. All right, what do we what do we got? We're we're in a half to eat food. No way we can beat this without eating something here. Uh, trust notch. Do 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 do. Can we eat that? Probably not. No. And we have an apple. Eesh. Man, we ah oh man, we have some pretty good items too. The silver gauntlets. Those are solid. All right. You see the. So these little the little guys they come back regardless. So we just need to just beat down on the king here. Yeah, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Keep misjudging how far I am away from him here. Yeah, yeah. Blast him. So anyway, he started blasting. There we go. Let's get the other small one too. Hey, too easy, too easy. Get on our level. Oh, Braveheart. Oh, Braveheart. <laughs> Or if that's a reference to something. Medicines made from this increase a person's courage tremendously. Not actually taken from blue-faced men. <laughs> Definitely a reference, okay. <laughs> Alright, thank you game. Uh, Alright, let's just continue. Ooh, oh, I forgot. Yeah, yeah, you have a floor change. Yeah. Hello. I, oh man. Like, I, eh, no, let, let's go through and just clear out our junk here. So we have a lot of junk. Unthankful statue, get rid of that. Uh, slime fluid, we can get rid of. Some chestnuts. Alright, there we go. So much junk on the ground now. Really, a raincoat? Alright. Alright, raincoat. Oh, hello, pumpkin faces. Excuse me. Oh. So many. Here. Here, all you attack at once. Here. Garbage, I wanna I wanna do I wanna do a spin attack on you guys. Here. All of you fall, please. Thank you. 
they fell right into the Louie trap. The Louie based spinny trap. They call it the spin Louie. I don't know. Somebody calls it that. I'm sure somebody calls it that. I called it that, so it makes it valid. There we go. Poipic. Poipic. Oh, excuse me, B. I'll be taking. I want an insect trap. The traps are like worth nothing. I'm sure they're used for item fusing, but despite what this episode is titled, uh, we fused like. What have we fused? Two items? <laughs> like, fuse it. Alright, we need to keep, keep track of our health here because we're getting low on health again. Garbage. Crap. Alright, let's call it a roll in here. Uh, let's. So, we're almost done with this. Alright. Garbage oh, ran right into him. Alright, that's fine. Ooh, excuse me! G g get in the tarn magic circle, please! Movement speed increased for everyone. Alright, I'm down for that. Means we can clear this faster. Daddy with that. Oh, yeah. So it looks like the internet at least is staying good. Yeah, it's things that the internet gave out last night, though. Walked right in there. Alright, we are getting low on health. Right now. We're probably gonna wanna. Probably gonna wanna just like try to book it to the next boss at this rate. That, or we need to like stick around and try to get some healing items. We need one or the other um, at this point. Garbage. They stood right in that. Ooh, hello. Ooh, herb seeds. I don't actually remember picking those up before. I mean, I have it in this playthrough at least. Like, I, I definitely know I have it in this playthrough, but... Herb seeds. Planted seeds grow into an herb that reaches maturity an hour. Only 320... Uh, base pay, though. Base price. Right, that. This. Alright. Uh, that'll give us... Base? Ooh. Bow staff, <laughs> otherwise known as a laundry pole. <laughs> yeah, you know that laundry pole bow staff that everybody uses. You know. All right. Ooh, oh, excuse me, excuse me. B, you. That's that back there was a roundabout. I right, got a little bit of crap. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, no, go away, B. Got it. Uh, man, this is a pretty, this is a pretty lengthy floor. Goodness. Yeah, I'm actually surprised. Usually the floors are not nearly this long. Get back here. There we go. There's the next floor. Now let's explore around here a little bit. We might get some more healing items. Ouch. Or I might just lose all my health that we need, really need to save for the boss. God, stop! Oh, he stole so much of our health. Ah, it's just slime fluid. We need slime fluid. Ow! Stop. Stop it. Stop it, you foul creature. Garbage, I tried to attack him. He was too fast. There we go. Nothing in here. Uh, let's not run all the way back up at this point. Let's uh, go to the next floor. If we have to, what we can maybe do, um, once we're on the floor right before the boss, we might be able to just grind up um, some XP, because we're about halfway to the next level up, so. Garbage. Thought I could out outspeed it, but I remembered we are no longer fast man. We are the slowman. Slowman Louie, that's what they call him. Yep, I mean, somebody does. I mean, I did, so. Garbage him out of uh, out of special gauge. I'm assuming. So I always like to just say special gauge or something like that. Like I'm assuming SP probably stands for like special power, right? Like I would assume. But pretty much, I always just call it like special gauge. Like that's just always what I've called those types of meters in the game. You know what I mean? Uh, whether that's correct or not. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's kind of along the same lines as like the, uh, it's kind of like along the same lines as if you, like back in the day at least, like 
like you had different ways of going about calling like extra lives or something in a video game um like some people said like one ups some of them said extra lives that, that's what i always said i always said extra life extra life you know what i mean um so that's what i used to call it but yeah uh yeah there there's all there's always been a debate as to like what to really call it um i don't know curious what everybody else thinks and maybe maybe it's like a generational thing too it's like maybe i don't know because i mean back back at like arcade era like they were always like just one-ups like you know what i mean like because almost every representation of like oh goodness i thought he would not that quickly jeez you stop blocking i'll turn please oh come on turn there thank you jeez man this dude's got it as, as tricky as like a dark nut from Zelda one jeez it's like oh yeah if you're not hitting me in the back then well try to hit me in the back and he's like well i can't because you keep turning like well some seems like a personal problem like stop <laughs> like just turn please goodness man Man, there's bomb traps everywhere here. I do not like. I don't like that. Do not do the bomb traps, please. Hey, a charged lizard. Those actually go for a pretty good fair penny, um, based on what that one dude bought the other day. Five hundred. I bet we can eat it now. We can't. Oh, I don't. <laughs> It literally says in the item description, don't try to eat this. <laughs> oh, okay. That that sounds about something I would say. <laughs> it literally says in the item description, don't try to eat this. After I legitimately just questioned, like, oh, I bet we can eat this. Oh, I'm such a goof sometimes, man. Oh, I'm such a goof sometimes, man. Uh, let's go ahead and eat this. That'll be special gay job, yeah. I'm just trying to make some inventory space at this point, because we're getting ready to hit, uh, not next floor, but the floor after. We'll hit the boss. And we like to have some invo space, so we can actually what we need to do here. Oh, <laughs> Hack and slashed me, dude. Apple. Like, I don't, I don't know, like, like, I've never really, garbage, oh, I thought, okay, ooh, I'm glad, I'm glad we had a critical hit, otherwise, ooh, they were gonna just, oh, they were gonna be garbage and other things. Defense power doubled, hey, I'm okay with that, honestly. <laughs> it stinks that the enemies also have it, but. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with double defense for me. I am short on HP at the moment, <laughs> which is, as one might say, unfortunate. <laughs> um, oh, what was I, what was I saying though about, oh, um, I don't know, my brain just shot off. What, <laughs> what were you, what were you saying before I, uh, doubled down on the lizard bit? Um, Oh, uh, with, when we were talking about Zelda 2, um, and how, like, and how Skyward Sword, like, kinda, like, didn't, it, it was not, I, I know, I'm getting low on health reset, maybe if you brought some extra walnut bread, I might be, I might survive, thank goodness, man. Like you're over here complaining about Louie nearly dying, but it's like, you had the power to bring bread. I mean, granted, granted I am reset in this game, so it kind of is my fault but at the end of the day. Guard, just stop! God, I don't want a chestnut plus two! Oh, I really do not want a chestnut plus two right now. That is not what we need. Ooh, a sword. Don't... I can we actually equip? We can't, I doubt. No. We can't equip mid dungeon, can we? Oh, we absolutely can. Okay. Okay, I, I could not remember if we could, like, re equip um, mid combat or, like, mid dungeon. That's actually good to know. 
I mean, for that matter, we could literally... <laughs> uh, we could actually double down, give him some solid gear. Because, yeah, we picked up some pretty good stuff. Um, along the way, granted. All this is fine. How does he do optimal? Yeah, because that's going to increase our damage output. Our event. Like, dude, yeah, we're solid now. Oh, yeah. And it's good because we literally have 11 health. If we get hit by one of those traps, we're probably dead. Which is very bad for us. Actually, let's... Please tell me we picked up something for food. Not really. We really have not. And that's very unfortunate. Well, what we really should do then... No, you don't. Get up! Get up, Louie, and just beat him! Ah, here, here, fall. Fall. Thank you. Ooh, okay. Uh, I like mystery ingredients. So, why don't we drop... Oh, we can't really drop that, because that's Louie's. This. Do that, then we grab this. That'd be good. Um... Yum yum beat him up. Yum yum beat him up. All right, we got him. Uh, yeah. Ideally, what? Ooh, no, you don't. Yeah, we are real low on health. But you turn. Thank you. Because <laughs> yeah, we're almost leveled up. Uh, the little red bar in the bottom left there—that's our uh, our XP gauge. So if we can just kill a couple more enemies, we yeah, it's only gonna be. Three. There's the next floor, but that's gonna be the boss. Really, really don't want to mess with right now, quite frankly. Yeah, because if we can get leveled up, then we'll have our HP and everything. We're still ideal in most situations, at least in my humble opinion. Uh, okay. Beat him up, beat him up. Hey, what do we got? We've got eight health. <laughs> So we really to play it safe. Let's see that, yeah. Get rid of them. Because we'll get our SP back too. I forgot, I forgot how much bees give. Bees give an insane amount. Like for no reason. Even though they're like literally just a one shot enemy. Jeez, red slime! He chunk! Ooh, we do need an orange though. We won't eat it yet. But we can save that for we can save that for the level up, um, for when we have to encounter the boss. Grab that. This patch of enemies here might do it for us. I know a reset. Give me a second. There we go. See reset over here worrying about nothing. He's like, oh jeez, you're bleeding out of every place. It's like, well, give me a second. I won't be for long. Oh yeah, you want uh, va the vacuous ROM? <laughs> well, this game's got it. <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah, I forgot this boss is a cakewalk. You literally just beat it to a pulp. Ow. Ow. Yeah, this boss is literally just like spam attack, and you pretty much are guaranteed to win. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, Vacuous Rom. Uh, a little bit easier to fight in this game than Bloodborne. <laughs> Just a little bit. Um, I mean, we have we already have a pretty decent loadout of pretty good items. Uh, we'll go ahead and head back for now. Yeah, let's go back to town. We'll do some selling and whatnot. Hey, we came back alive. My favorite. Yeah, it's my favorite of all the things. It's Coming back and not dying in the process. <laughs> Alright, so we'll go back. Shop. Uh, let's switch out some items here. Unthankful statue. Long sword. Uh, we'll switch this and keep that there. Mmm, what else? What else? What else do we want? Uh, that's a thankful statue. Those are good. Uh, the Romantic Capes 10k. We'll toss that on there. Uh, actually, we can use the we can use the pot lid for an item infusing. So we'll go ahead and put that back in our inventory. Um, what else? Do we have? 
Uh, that is true. Food prices, too, have normalized. So since food prices are normalized, we could start advertising our shrimp Doria again. That are the four baked yams that we bought. Yeah, shrimp Doria, there we go. Alright, let's get some shopping in. Alright, bro. What you guys want to buy? Alright, uh, yeah, welcome to your set. Hey, I'd like to buy some food. Uh, not much, but I'm hungry. Well, don't worry, f fine sir. I've got just the thing for you. Perhaps a shrimp Doria plus one. Yes. Yeah, it's perfect. I love shrimp Doria. I don't know what it is, but it's delicious. Hey, this dude's willing to pay 6k? Sure. Sure, man. Yeah, I'm down for paying... Getting 6k for that? Yeah. Man, we're gonna make that 80k rent payment <laughs> real easy at this rate. Uh, yeah, what you were looking for, the tree seed necklace. I mean, it's gonna cost you, lady. It's gonna cost you a fair penny. <laughs> I don't care if you're a financial guru. That's a good price. All right, you know what? Instead of getting a harsh review on Yelp or something. <laughs> here, here, just get out of my shop. <laughs> Oh, goodness. They're like, oh, blah, blah, blah. I can handle the finances. Oh, we suddenly need a bra- Yeah, what, you need a bracelet now, too? Okay. Oh, oh, uh, Louis should be actually coming in to buy- Because we had, t we had, uh, scarves for him. Um, he had, uh, ordered a couple of scarves. Um, it's a bracelet, bracelet. How many bracelets do we? And we don't. Um... Yeah, I don't have a bracelet for you, but how about, how about we, we, we come to an agreement, a souvenir ch- No, uh, I'm sorry, I don't have a bracelet. I don't have any bracelets, bruh. <laughs> yeah, 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 you did bother me. I didn't- Reset, you didn't make them mad. They're just- they're, they're going to the wrong place. We're an arms manufacturer now. We sell weapons and armor. We don't sell bracelets. We sell literally weapons of mass destruction. What with a longbow and such on the counter. Yo, hey, I'm here for the scarves. Uh, you got it? Uh, don't worry, Louie, my man. Louie, my, my dude. I've got you a couple of scarves, man. Here you go. Here you go, man. How much? Oh, wait, no. Now, yeah, Louis, 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 you my bro. You, you, you my bro. Yeah, that's a good price. You know it is. And we made him happy, and that's what counts. Louis, Louis's the man. Hey there. Uh, 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 yes, actually. I would love to sell this to you. How about this much for a potentially lethal weapon? It does seem fair. You are right, Mr. Merchant Man. Yeah, we sold it for way more than we should have. You'll love to see it. Nice! Another good day. Man, look at all the stuff we did! Man, exceeded expectation. Granted, you can't see it because of the ding-dang, uh... Exceeded expectation. You'll love to see it. Oh, yeah. So if you think that I'm bad at this game, which arguably I am, the game thinks I'm good at this game, and that's what matters. We sold... Two old mufflers, a longbow, a shrimp doria, and a tree seed necklace, and we found a bunch of junk. So I am pretty happy with how that day turned. Yeah. Some day 21. Uh, let's check out the news and then we'll, uh, try some heavy armor. Oh! Ooh, the parade armor! Ooh! The adventures, our adventure snaps has opened. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, our right, heavy armor, the parade armor, that's where it's at, bro. Uh, we'll throw the leather armor in there. We'll just restock the shop real quick before we uh, wrap up, wrap up this food. Uh, yeah, we throw some honey in there. Uh, yeah, let's start selling off those baked yams. Those have always been a good seller in the past. Oh, alrighty. That was actually 
to be honest that was actually probably like the best game like the actual best like day of reset that we've had in a while <laughs> like for some reason like that, that's how this game works man it's like you start off like the new week like real rough like i'm talking straight up barely making enough money to, to pay rent and then like midweek like you start getting all kinds of good stuff i'm talking i don't know money <laughs> i'm talking picks here man i'm talking you get some good picks uh but yeah um anyway i'm gonna wrap up this episode here uh you know i'll probably do uh, if you want to stick around anybody that's uh out there all you coop operatives uh anybody else joining me on the couch today uh feel free to stick around i'll uh, do a couple more i've still got a little bit of time but uh yeah we'll finish this episode here so uh, thanks for uh jumping by today i'll see you guys next time bye so you guys soon <laughs>